Hello everyone, this is the Thousand Beanster welcoming you back to Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. In the last part, we started out on Jungle Japes. Got a couple of bananas, free ditty, and in this episode, we will continue on that trend. And this is the cave that I said was led to uh, the same area. See, if I went this way, I would actually wait just a second. Oh, well, wait. Okay. Well, if we could fail a bit less, well, okay, that was a nice escape there, but there, yeah, I, I got the coin I wanted. So anyway, if I went that way, I would uh, go to the, the other entrance, which we're going to use pretty soon. Well, kind of soon. And here we have a couple of areas with uh, this guy for another Kong, and more stuff for that other Kong there. But uh, right now we can't do much on uh, the side paths. So let's go. And here we have Cranky in this world. As well as a balloon. Okay. Bad timing. Better timing. Grinky is going to be present in every world, and every time you enter a world, he. Well, almost every time you enter a new world, he has something new for you. Almost every time. Just once, I think, where there's nothing. He's also the one you will be buying the most from, because you will be getting something for each Kong in almost every world. With, like, two of them being all Kong upgrades. Like the Simeon Slam, you get upgrades for that later on, that upgrades your Simeon Slam. And those are, like, you buy it once for all Kongs. But he's the one with the most Kong-specific upgrades. All the others, I mean. Funky, you've got one gun per Kong, and after that... After that, each of them are all Kong upgrades, like ammo upgrades mostly. And a couple other things. So anyway, how, how was that? What was that already? That, that was a barrel blast, I believe. <laughs> I actually forgot the name, but I know exactly what it does. So this has given us a new ability. Before we go do something with that ability, let's uh, kill some beavers, or, well, beat them up, because, you know, this is still kind of a kid's game, sorta. And this here is one of my favorite little things that, sadly, we don't use more. Well, <laughs> now you know what happens when you get 75 coins, that's the banana metal right there. But here is something that's only in this area, sadly. This is Rambi, an old friend from Donkey Kong Country. And as Rambi, you are basically invincible. You don't care about a thing. You just ram everything. Including houses. Which is actually a must do. As far as switches on. There we go. Two of those being for Kongs we do not have yet, but we do have DK and Diddy, so. And before we actually. before we turn back, we want to go this way. And do this. Open this area, which is. well, stuff we can't do yet, but at least it'll be open for. for when we can do something. Like this, and there are plenty of boss swords. And I should get some some of these hand grenades. I don't care what you say; those are those are not oranges for grenades. Oranges don't explode. So there was a DK. Uh, switch over here. Simeon snap switch. Right here, so... Let's go and see what that does. 
And in case you haven't noticed yet, there are a lot of very easy golden bananas in the first world. Which, obviously, is because it's the first world. But even in later worlds, the golden bananas are rarely that hard. Well, there are some occurrences of golden bananas that will probably make me rage my heart out. Looking at you, Beaver Bobber. And DK Arcade. Those will probably make me cry my heart out and basically wish I was dead. But. But as we, uh, we did get a new ability from Cranky. And I'm about to demonstrate it. Over here. There's also like one of these per world, but it's not always a golden banana. Like it will be in this world. The pad with Diki's face on it, you press Z and you get to these. This is the new ability I was referring to. Uh, come on, this is not that hard. <laughs> okay, I actually thought I kind of missed in this one. Whoa. <laughs> well, you know the laws of ballistics are kind of obeyed. I have went in a... Parable. I didn't go in a perfectly straight line. The laws of ballistics are actually <laughs> taken into consideration. <laughs> Not much, because we rarely go at enough distance to make it uh, obvious, but... Oh, pfft. I'll have to come back for those. Because even though I'm not going to get all of them, I want to get as many of those as I see. I mean, I don't, don't want to to just give up on them when I know where they are. So I'll just go get them and uh, proceed to the next golden banana. And uh, if you haven't noticed, I have all five golden bananas with DK in this world. So I'll be going on for Diddy's bananas next, obviously. I've actually pretty much completed DK of this world except for some bananas. But this here is a very practical title screen. Well, as of now, it only shows challenges. But this, here, this screen here shows Kong by Kong in each world. See here in DK Isles. General collectibles in each world. And general collectible list. The very practical status screen that tells you everything you ever wanted to know about your status. Whoa. Okay, good. Alright. Yeah, I guess we should go switch to Diddy. And uh, if you remember, we have already spotted his uh, his blueprint over in this corridor, as well as some of his stuff in general. But I think I didn't come over here with our bananas, so... Yep! Ow! Damn beaver. Oh, something I should mention, if you notice I don't have all the grenades I should have had, it's because every time you start the world, literally every time you, you know, start the game actually, excuse me, that every time you start the game you start at like half ammo, half grenades, and so on. As you can see there's just some difference between Donkey Kong's attack and that Donkey Kong's, you get this guy, put this guy down in his ass. 
but every time. While Diddy's don't. Diddy's running attack does, however, put them on her uh, on her posterior, on her rear end. Like so. Just want to demonstrate it. While DK's doesn't. Obviously the best characters to fight the uh, to fight those splats are those who have both. But well since there's a Diddy switch over here, well I might actually check out if there's anything on top of these here. Or it doesn't appear to be. As of now at least. Oh. Need more death perception. And this one is timed. And while it's certainly possible to make it in 50 seconds without the warp, it is much easier with it. As one would expect. There we are. And since we're at it, why not go redeem his blueprint? I will redeem my blueprints as I get them in the world where they, uh, where I get them. If only to keep my banana count uh, consistent with what I've actually got. No uh, banana in limbo from having from having the blueprint but not redeemed it yet. And uh, that little mechanism, it changes from world to world. Yeah, it doesn't actually show much right now. The, the blueprints don't show much right now, and it's not like it's ever going to be particularly interesting, but... It can be nice. Uh, did this have any bananas? Not anymore, at least. And while we're here, while we are here. Oh, yes, but before I enter this place, actually, there's something I... No, wait, I'll have to, I'll have to come out anyway for, for something, so I might as well... Might as well go on. don't have that much time left, so that's probably going to be the last banana I get in this episode. In this session, actually. We'll be making longer sessions with more episodes later on when I get more comfortable. Because as if I hadn't said that enough in my first episode, this is my first LP, so I'm kind of new in the business. wonder if I'll need Cranky's help in here. An excellent flash of mysterious insight there, did he? Let's carry some bananas while we're at it. Well, here is a switch, but you don't really want to hit that switch from here, actually. Well, I guess you, you could, and it's not impossible to do what's required of you from that location, but it's much easier to do so from from over here. Whoa. Okay. I guess that works. Thirty seconds to cross the first one. Out of that you're pretty much home free. Oh. That's what I get for trying to aim Trying to use hip fire <laughs> to use <laughs> first person shooter terms. I might as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, don't rush it. Don't rush it. You only get hurt. <laughs> well, hurt. Ever since the two 
waste time, but... There we go. Attempt number two! Well, number three, actually, if you can't attempt as being how many times I've gotten onto it. Oh, down. <sighs> you will want to eliminate that zinger before going in there. Do I try to rush it? I'll try to rush it. Yeah. I didn't have much, much else to do anyway. I mean, it's not like I can actually cancel it and start the timer again. So I might as well try to rush. This is taking longer than this should. Oh, wait. Yes, much longer than this should. Alright, let's try this again. This time, let's not screw around with that... That freaking bee. That zinger. There we go. That is probably going to be the main enemy you'll want to use your shooter against, the zingers. Alright, so now I have actually... I'm past the... the plank I had to be uh, careful of. That would disappear. Excuse me. Get blanks off him. And that's why I said I'll have to come outside anyway. It's <laughs> probably going to be the last one, but I'll just go get that and then I'll probably end the episode. And yes, Diddy, you've already said it. Thank you. Yes, you'll need Cranky's help in here. For reasons I have not yet shown. Deeper in a cavern. Alright, do I have time? Yes, I do. Here we are. First five warp, which is not that effect, not that useful for actually as a shortcut, but does allow one cer a certain Kong to come to a place where that's actually the second use of uh, those banana ports is that they can allow some Kongs to get to places where we could otherwise to get bananas or other other such things. So, anyway, as I have said, that will probably, that's probably why I'm going to end the video. So, this was the Thousand Beats, sir. Signing off.